California. He reportedly just signed a million dollar contract to race for Yamaha. Or this young fellow from Mission Viejo, California, 24 year old Jeff Ward. He's the star for the Kawasaki team, and he's been making six figures since he was in his teens. Now, when the two of them aren't on airplanes driving to international events or in the gymnasium getting their bodies ready for the punishment that they'll take today, they probably sit around and talk about stocks and bonds and tax shelters. But the 250cc two wheel class is not the only action today, right, Brock Yates? <laughs> the 250cc motocross bikes with some of the great names in the business. Glover, George Holland, Jeff Ward, Ricky Johnson, and the man in the passion pink leathers there, the French champion, Jackie Bimon. Steve spoke with him earlier. How does American motocross racing compare to what you do in France? I think the American riders is more aggressive. That's very good, you know. And we come here for Leon because for sure now it's more better than the European uh, people, the riders. Do the American riders tease you about your pink leathers? <laughs> yes, he likes. Did you like the pink one? Oh, I think they're nice. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, good luck to you, Jack. Thank you. Well, I got to work on my parlay vu, that's for sure. Well, while I was failing to communicate with Jackie Vima, Brock Yates was at the other end of the gate to see how Kawasaki superstar Jeff Ward feels about the start of this first moto. He's even built himself his own launch pad. As we watch uh, Jeff Ward get ready for the start, Jeff, uh, pretty critical to get this all set up here right for you, right? Yeah, just confidence-wise, so there's no grooves. They're going to throw you sideways and uh, just a straight line out. Is it kind of a little ritual you go through before every start just to kind of get your head right? Yeah, we all do because, you know, sometimes in front of the gate there's a big rut, and in the gate it's not straight, so we make it straight. This is a pretty good place to start, right? I hope so. <laughs> how about how about uh, how about the you you run be, you've run before here obviously, but I mean today, what's the racetrack look like right now? It's pretty smooth for Carlsbad. Uh, she's a little rougher. It's kind of fast, but uh, not too bad. The sun's kind of going behind some, behind some clouds, so it's going to stay a little tacky. Hopefully. You like it a little heavier, or, or would you rather see it slick? I like it uh, tackier than, than I don't like slick that much, especially here at Carlsbad. Is that is that a pretty much a, uh, the way it is for most of the top riders, or are some guys like a real slick track? Uh, they like the track in good condition, but I can ride it in bad condition, but uh, really well too. It's just funner when it's nice out there. Okay. Well, I hope it's fun for you. Thank you. Thanks. Well, they say that no one works harder on his physical conditioning than that man from Mission Viejo, California, Jeff Ward. And any time you're up against a field like this, world-class motocross riders, a little prayer couldn't hurt. All you need, then, after you got the bike, is one of the finest athletes in the world to ride on it. I'll tell you, Brock, with all that suspension travel, the bikes are getting so tall, you got to be an athlete just to get on one. Now, the gate falls towards the rider. If you over-anticipate, you can just impale your front wheel on that gate. All right, it is a good start. Everybody away clean. They sure are, and it is George Holland sliding down underneath to take that leap. This is a traffic jam of epic proportions through turn number one. George Holland, a factory runner for Suzuki. He's got the lead, but right on his tail, that is Jeff Ward. What a flight. You know, these guys look like they're just never going to land when they come off that first jump, but you haven't seen anything yet. They've just begun the first of 12 laps here at Carlsbad on this nearly one mile circuit. George Holland and Jeff Ward. That's the story. Ward passes him in midair off the jump. Look at Ward. Turn that bike with his body not even touching the ground. Unbelievable. Unbelievable is, is right, Steve. You just can't believe it. He got by him. He passed him in the air, as you say, and kind of turned the bike in the process. All right. Ward moves out to a long lead on Holland. And just behind Holland now comes the rider they call the Golden Boy. In fact, in motocross, the height is not as big a disadvantage as it would be in speedway or flat track. Uh, you look at Glover at six feet. Ricky Johnson, we talked about earlier, he's six foot one. All right, there they go. Look at that. Glover kind of bobbled a little bit there. It didn't slow him up too badly, but he really almost brought the bike to a halt there as they head down to complete the first lap. There is Glover about to sail over. Doubles drop on his red and white Yamaha under the spectator bridge to complete number one, lap number one. So it's Jeff Ward and Black Lover taking the early command. Two riders.
players who have won innumerable titles in this country have represented the U.S. in the trophies the nations, the motocross the nations have won in many countries of the world. And there is a scramble for fourth place. That's Billy Frank and by number 26, Scott Manning. Russ Wageman, he's the man you saw saying a little prayer before the start. He's sitting up among the leaders, and right behind them, one of the best in the business, Ricky Johnson, who didn't really get a very good start, Steve, but is now trying to work his way through the field. No, he did not, Brock, but some of the riders call him the king of Carlsbad. Look for Ricky Johnson to move up. Okay, there is your race for fourth. Billy Frank, right number 26, Scott Manning, 51, Russ Wageman, and they are really going at it. You just saw the yellow Suzuki of George Holland go through. He's in the third spot, followed by Billy Frank right there. Then Scott Manning, number 51, making that right-hander. Then Russ Wageman and Ricky Johnson. Now, Johnson just recently joined the Honda team, Brock. May still be adapting to that motorcycle. He rode for another factory previous to that. So let's see what happens here. All right, the man. Six, trying to get by Scott Manning. Yeah, he did. He moved by Manning. Manning kind of bobbled there just for a second to let both Johnson and Wageman through. But look at Johnson. He is saying sayonara. And he's taken off after Billy Frank in the fourth spot. This is a man to watch right now. That number five bike, the, the man you said earlier, Steve, they called it King of Carlsbad, grew up in the shadow of this racetrack, really down in El Cajon, down uh, just a little south of San Diego, Steve. In fact, he and Brock Club are both natives of San Diego County, so you know they spent a lot of time on this particular circuit. Uh -huh. You better believe it. They can run a blindfold it, I'll bet. All right, right now, it's the race for seventh, and our man Scott Manning has continued to fall back a little bit. I think he's got some problems. And Gordon Ward, and it looks, Steve, as if he signaled to his crewman that I got some problems with this bike. Well, if he does, it won't take Johnny Nelson, uh, number three, Jay Long, to find out, because he's putting all the pressure on Manning. He possibly can't. Gordon Ward, number 59, behind him. Well, Scott Manning tries to hold off uh, Johnny Nelson. Nelson, of course, on that yellow Suzuki. Scott Manning riding the red and white distinctive colors of the Yamaha team. And bear in mind, Brock, as they travel the 7 8 mile circuit, they're shifting gears uh, hundreds of times in a 12-lap race. Look at this race now for third spot. George Holland in the yellow. He's on a Suzuki. Billy Frank right behind him, number 26. And ever-moving, Ricky Johnson. Oh, boy, look at this. Johnson just riding all over the back of both those riders. You've got to believe that Johnson is looking for a hole. And the first of his victims may be Billy Frank. I think Johnson is just waiting for a safe, sane place to pass. And this is not it. Of course, very narrow in this section. As they get out and it opens up, let's watch Johnson. Well, Billy Frank, though, right now is challenging Holland. Billy Frank has moved up steadily on George Holland and is challenging. And look at that. Coming into your picture, the red and white livery of Ricky Johnson. Boy, they sail over that jump. And right now, if George Holland has his hand with both these guys. Look at this. Ricky Johnson trying the inside of Billy Frank. Powers right by him, Brock. And you got to wonder now if George Holland isn't the next in jeopardy. When you figure that Ricky Johnson has come all the way from seven, he is by George Holland. He is by masterfully. Incredible ride. A beautiful ride. Of just a lap ago, he was way back in seventh spot. He's moved up now and probably has his sights on Brock Clover for second. Brock Clover is going to try to pass. National Outdoor Championship and the Stadium Championship. Ward and Glover, this is what the fans paid to see. And they are getting their money's worth. Ward, of course, on the green Kawasaki. Brock Glover on the red and white Yamaha. Glover, like Ricky Johnson from El Cajon, right in the San Diego area. Contrasting riding styles here between Ward and Brock Glover. Ward, a very compact, built guy, and he can do things in midair that maybe the long tall Glover can't. But Glover is just so smooth and precise. Going for a tearaway there so he can see. They call Glover the golden boy, originally because of his tan California good looks. Now I think it's because of his bank account. Well, at 26 years old, Brock Glover is one of the older riders, and of course, as you said earlier, one of the richer ones. But the interesting part about him.
his career is that he's a champion on the 500 cc bikes as well which is probably where his size really pays off for him earlier steve had a chance to talk to this interesting young man Brooke, what kind of physical training do you do off the motorcycle